does it look from up in the stands? I don't think you might say. No, you know, uh, Southport obviously a little bit depleted on the day, and we, we took advantage of that. To be fair, it was it was it was a comfortable performance, but it's it's always a tough ask eight, you know, third game in eight days. So uh, you know, nitpicking, we could have could have been a little bit better at quality at times, but. Uh, you know, the three points is the main thing and we move on and now it looks like a two-horse race. I was going to say, yeah, Grimsby have, have lost today, so is it now between you and Barnet for automatic I think so. promotion? Yeah, I do. I think so now, to be honest with you, although, you know, Grimsby have got a good manager and they'll be having a right go to win the last two games, but, uh, you know, it, it, it looks like it might be a two-horse race, that's for sure. I got the impression there was an extra gear in Bristol Rovers today if you needed it, is that fair to say? Possibly, but, uh, you know, Southport... They they worked to get plenty of men behind the ball all game really. Never never really ch he changed it, and he, I don't think he had a lot of options to change it. To be fair to to Paul, so and it's it's always difficult for the part time teams when they're a little bit depleted. So, uh, but uh, in general, our performance I thought was pretty commanding. Um, another goal for Ellis Harrison, and he was named man of the match, which shows it's just more than scoring a goal. Today. Yeah, another goal for both my strikers, wasn't it? So it's uh, it's good to get strikers on the score sheet. I think that's Matty's fifth in five games now. So. Uh, no, pleased from both. They work hard for the team. It's the, the effort and endeavour working hard for the team, filling in holes, and you see the work rate of the players. It's top notch, and there's no let up in the in the 95 minutes. I think we're a very fit team, and we keep going. And you know, maybe we had one or two more gears to raise if we needed it. But your two strikers were clinical, weren't they? They had one serious chance each, and they took it. Yeah, we did. We created a few more chances as well. But uh, you know, like I say, third game in eight days. It's always a tough ask now we can recharge our uh, batteries now and, and get the get the training and schedule all ready for uh, Dover away where there'll be another load of gas heads going down there. There was a huge queue yeah, for, for tickets for that. You'll be back no doubt by a sellout travelling support next week. Well, it would have been fantastic, you know, to get over eight thousand for a for a conference game. They're right behind us now and you know they're trying to push us and help us along the way, which would be great and we're gonna we're gonna need them in abundance next Saturday. Be honest, when you hear that Barnet have won three 0 is that a bit frustrating? Well, listen, we can only take care of our own business, you know, if, if Barnet win the next two games, they win the league, simple as that, so, you know, we, what we've got to do is try and win our next two, to make it very difficult for them, and uh, we're in good form, we, uh, we keep going, and you know, you never know, you're looking for that little twist and turn coming in the last two, but... Uh, you know, it's all in, it's all immaterial if we don't win the games. Yeah, I actually think back in February or March, could it go to the wire? The very last game, it's possibly going to turn out that way, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you just don't know. We've both got difficult away games now, and we, you know, the Barnet go to Kidderminster and, and we go to Dover. So, tough games on paper, not easy, easy pitches, surfaces, and and two teams that you know, uh, I'm sure want to give their all. Um, I know you're not allowed to talk about referees, Daryl, but was Ellis un unlucky to get a yellow card today in the first half? I thought so. I thought it was uh, you know, a 50-50 challenge. I'm, I'm not going to get myself in trouble, but you can see by the reaction of our supporters what they thought of the referees' performance, so we'll leave it at that. And a positive today, no fresh injuries going into next week? No uh, fresh injuries, no, and you know, a chance to... We've got a few tight legs, tight muscles, so we'll, we'll have that assessed the early part of the week, but it's about getting the freshness and the, the energy back into the boys after a, after a big week for us. Do you have to manage the lads now going into next week's game? It's, it's getting to the final stages of the season? Yeah, no, you do, because if they're not going to be fit now, they're never going to be fit. So we we just got to get that balance right, but, you know, while keeping the sharpness and the, and the fitness levels ticking over.